So without further ado, let me show you what the actual force is on a charge that is moving, because it has to be moving, inside of a magnetic field. The force on a charge Q moving, because it has to be moving, remember, in a magnetic field, not M, in a magnetic field B. That's what we're writing down here. What is the force acting on this charge moving in a magnetic field B? That force, we're going to call it F sub B, because it's a force due to the magnetic field B, is equal to the charge times the velocity, it's a vector, so I'm label it that way, crossed with the magnetic field B. This is not a multiplication. This is not 3 times 4. This is a vector cross product, right? And this vector is the velocity of the uh, particle in motion. And this vector is the field. That's the field strength and the direction. So don't get too worried about that. I mean, if you're rusty in vectors, go back and review vectors. But basically, don't forget, a vector has a strength, a magnitude, and a direction. And obviously, the strength and the direction, the magnitude and the direction, are both going to be important anytime you calculate anything when you have a field. If the field points this way, it's going to act differently on the object than if the field points this way. Field is stronger, it's going to act differently than if it's weaker. So this equation looks quite simple, deceptively simple, but it really has tons of information. What we're basically saying is that the force due to this magnetic field depends, forget about the cross product, it depends on the strength and the sign of the charge that's moving in the field, right? It depends on the velocity of the charge, and it depends on the magnetic field. So this V is the velocity of the charge moving through the field. This Q is the strength in coulombs and the sign of this charge in the field. This magnetic field is the strength and the direction of the magnetic field. All right? So let's just forget about the fact that it's crossed for a second. We're going we're gonna to get there in just a second. But just think for a second, note, that if I increase the value of this charge, then the force due to the magnetic field increases. Like if I hold everything else the same, forget about the cross product, we'll get there, okay? But if I increase this charge, then you can see they're all basically multiplied together. There's a cross product here, but that's a special kind of multiplication. If we increase the charge, the force increases. If I increase the velocity of that particle moving through the field, then the force on it increases, right? And if I increase the magnetic field, if I make it stronger, then the magnetic force increases. So at first glance, this equation makes sense. If I make the charge stronger, then it's going to be pushed harder when it goes through the field. If I speed it up and make it go faster through the field, then I'm going to have a stronger force acting on it. And if I increase the field strength itself, I turn my magnetic field meter up, or my mag magnetic field strength up, then I'm going to uh, have a stronger force on it as well. And I'm going to write a giant but down here. So these are all true, but there's one very important thing that's staring us in the face because this is a cross product. And I'll write it down and we'll discuss it. FB, which is the force acting from this field, does not, does not, does not speed up or slow down the charge Q that's moving through the field, it only changes the direction, the direction that Q is moving. Let me write one more thing down and then this will be absolutely clear. Why is this the case? Let me write why. It's because when you look at this guy, what do we have? It's because FB acts perpendicular to the velocity of the particle and the field. I've got a ton of information on the board. We need to make sure we understand it. When you look at this, this is a cross product. What does a cross product mean? It means you have two vectors, right, in space. I'll draw a picture in just a second to make it absolutely clear. But you have two vectors in space. Think of arrows, right? When you have a cross product between two vectors, that means literally you take your right hand. Remember right hand rule? You cross one vector into another one. 
the resulting force, in this case the force on the particle, is actually acting perpendicular to its velocity and to the magnetic field. What this means is this force does not push the object along its velocity, right? It doesn't push it, it doesn't speed it up, it acts perpendicular to its velocity. So if the object's moving this way, it's totally conceivable that the force from the magnetic field pushes it into the chalkboard. So as the guy moves this way, the force is going to curve it this way, right? Because it's actually pushing it perpendicular to its velocity. So it's not going to speed it up or slow it down. It's just going to change its course. And that comes expressly from the cross product. Now this stuff isn't, isn't made up. It's not like somebody said, oh, it's a cross product. It's because we observe it. If we go put a magnetic field in a bottle and shoot some electron beams in there, those electrons don't speed up or slow down. They just curve. They just turn directions depending on how the magnetic field's oriented and how the beam is oriented. They just turn the direction of it. That's totally different than electric fields. Electric fields not like that at all. If I stick a charge right here, we said it over and over because I was trying to prepare you. If we stick a charge right here, the force that comes from this interaction pushes it in the direction of the electric field line. It speeds it up, right? Or it could slow it down depending on the sign of the charge and the sign of the electric field and everything else. But it basically pushes it along the direction of the field lines. Whereas this guy, it only pushes it in a direction perpendicular to its velocity in the magnetic field. So that is the reason why it doesn't speed it up, it doesn't slow it down, it only changes direction of Q is moving. The reason is because the force is acting perpendicular to the velocity and the field.